Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some uh, banana oat or banana oatmeal muffins and I'm going to put a little bit of crystallised ginger into mine. That's optional, you don't have to do that but I do like that extra little hit that you get um, from uh, ginger and I love crystallised ginger so I'm going to put some of that into mine. I have seen some people make these where they put some chopped nuts in or some uh, chocolate chips but I just want them fairly plain with that little bit of ginger. As with all these recipes uh, for muffins they're very very easy and don't take long at all. So I start off by preheating my oven to 190 degrees Celsius, that's 170 Celsius with a fan, 375 Fahrenheit and I've put paper cases into the 12 holes of my muffin tin. You don't have to do that, you can grease the muffin tin instead if you want. don't want to use the paper cases, but I've put paper cases in mine. So I'll go on to the ingredients, and for this I have here um, 260 grams of mashed banana. So that's one cup of banana once it's been mashed, 260 grams. I have 180 grams, one cup plus three tablespoons, of bread flour and that's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. Now I'm using bread flour because it is slightly stronger than plain flour. You can use plain flour, it will work perfectly well, but bread flour will give just a little more structure to the muffins. Uh, so that's one cup, hundred, sorry, one cup plus three tablespoons, 180 grams. Then I have 150 grams, one and a half cups of oats and I'm using the oats that I use to make my porridge in the morning. But you can use old fashioned rolled oats, you can use instant oats, any oats you have is fine. I have two thirds of a cup, 130 grams of light brown sugar, that's packed brown sugar if you're uh, using uh, measurements. Then I have two medium eggs, which would be large in the USA. I have a third of a cup, 80 millilitres, of a flavourless vegetable oil. I have two thirds of a cup, 160 millilitres of um, milk, and I'm using semi skimmed milk. Then I have uh, six grams, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, two grams, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, three grams, half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, three grams, one teaspoon of speculous spice. Now you could use cinnamon, you could use nutmeg, you could use um, any spice you want or you don't have to use any spice at all, it's entirely up to you. But with this time of year speculous spice, rather like pumpkin spice, comes into its own so I'm using that. And I have five millilitres, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then here I have uh, 35 grams, three tablespoons of crystallised ginger, which I have chopped quite finely. And crystallised ginger looks like this really. Chunks of ginger which have been cooked and coated in sugar. Um, so I've chopped that up. And then I also have um, about two tablespoons or about one and a half tablespoons, 20 grams of demerara sugar, which I'm going to sprinkle on the top, but you could use caster sugar if you wanted to, or granulated sugar, anything you want basically. So the first thing to do is to mix the dry ingredients together and then mix the wet ingredients together and then combine them. And that's all there is to it. So I'm going to put the dry ingredients into a, a large bowl. That's the oats and the flour and the baking powder, baking soda, salt and speculous spice. And I'm going to put the sugar in, although strictly speaking that is a wet ingredient um, because it dissolves into a liquid, but I'll put it in and I'm going to mix those around just to get those distributed amongst themselves. And I'll just set that to one side for a minute 
and then I'm going to put in another bowl the milk, the oil, the two eggs, and the vanilla. And I'm going to give those a whisk. That's mainly to get the eggs broken up and the oil mixed in. And then I'm going to add in my banana. And you can see some little chunks of banana, but that's fine. Um, you can have it as a puree or you can have it chunky. It's up to you, basically. I'm just going to whisk that to get that broken up and mixed through. And at the same time, I'm going to put the ginger in and I'm putting it into the wet ingredients because that will separate it out um, because as it's sticky, it will clump together and I want it separated out so that it distributes evenly in the muffin mix. And that's good enough like that. So you can see little bits of chunks of the banana and that's just how I like it. So then I'm going to pour that into the dry mixture and I'm simply going to mix that around until it's just combined. So that's mixed nicely now and uh, the final thing to do before we put them into the oven is to put them into the muffin tin. So I'm going to use an ice cream scoop and I'm just going to evenly divide the batter into the 12 paper cases. And so with uh, the muffins uh, or the, the muffin batter in the case is fairly evenly distributed. I'm just going to sprinkle some demerara sugar on the top of each one. And I think I will also just put a few of my uh, oats on the top as well. Not, not many, just a few so that you can tell just from the top that they've, they've got oats in them. And the demerara sugar will help to give just a little bit of sweet crunch on the top as well as these rise up. And they should dome in the middle because we're cooking them on a fairly high temperature which uh, will cook the edges uh, before the, the centre is cooked and therefore the centre will be forced to rise up if all goes according to plan. So with maybe three quarters of a tablespoon or so of sugar on the top, I'm just going to drop a few oats on each one. Just like that. And then I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for about 20 minutes. I will test them with a skewer um, at 20 minutes and if the skewer comes out clean, I'll take them out and leave them in the uh, tin for a few minutes. Then I'll transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. But if the skewer doesn't come out cleanly, then I'll leave them in the oven for a couple more minutes and then test again. Uh, so I'll be back with you once these are on the wire rack and they've cooled completely. I baked the banana and oat muffins 
for 20 minutes and then I tested them with a skewer which came out clean. So I took them out of the oven and left them for five minutes. Then I transferred them to a wire rack and I've left them and they're, they're almost cooled down. So this is what they look like. And I've taken one out of its paper case and I've already had little taste. <clears throat> but they've baked up very nicely indeed. And I'll have a taste of this one. It has a wonderful flavour. The banana comes through. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely there. And then the speculous spice comes through as well. And then also that little hit of ginger, which really sets it off very, very well. The oats give a nice texture to it, as they always do. So it's a very simple recipe, but very, very tasty. And as I mentioned earlier, you can use whatever spice you want and you don't have to use the ginger. You don't have to add anything other than the oats and the banana. But if you want to, you can put some chopped walnuts or pecans or something like that in, or some chocolate chips. You can vary this however you want, but they're perfect uh, for snacking or for breakfast or for taking for a lunch on the go. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.